Video Gamers Oasis Website YouTube Channel Good evening Twitch uh, fans, uh, Twitchers, uh, people who visit my Twitch channel. It's Jeremy from Video Gamers Oasis Twitch on Twitch. Thanks so much for tuning in. Um, as promised, we're going to continue on our adventure of Zork, the Cavern of Doom. And um, <laughs> to be quite honest with you folks, kind of a little bit embarrassing. I, I fell asleep watching some ASMR on YouTube uh, and I I kind of blinked my eyes, woke up and say, oh my god, I gotta I mean, I have a promise to keep. I was supposed to continue on this uh, point and click adventure uh, series that I started last week and I, I rushed, got myself an order, poured a glass of water and uh, Got right back into the game. Oh, this game is is not like your average text adventure game. It's not like the kind I have, I've tried to load the the file save. It doesn't allow me to f save files. Um, I just have to continue basically where I left off. Um, I gotta use some of my. Uh, use some of my. Uh, Intuition to just remember where I last left off. I was in Sayavar's. We were in Sayavar's study, in Zork's Cavern of Doom. It's more of a true to adventure than a regular text adventure game, but we're still gonna have a good time with the story here. So hope you're sipping on some herbal tea, relaxing. Maybe you're puffing on your favorite medicinal herb that helps you mellow out a bit. And I hope you're lounging it or on your couch or on your favorite soft cushy cha chair. So relax and while I read continue on this adventure. We were in Sayavar's study. And we're just gonna review a few things. Sayavar seems pleased by their decision and leads them to his private study. A cozy room filled with books and ancient curios. A fire roars in the hearth. As they munch on delicious cakes and sip a strange herbal tea, Sayavar reminisces about his childhood days during the height of the great underground empire. He recalls how he learned magic from an aged sorcerer named Hermacidas. Vivatar and Geranda are surprised to learn that Sayavar was married once during the last days before the fall of the Empire. His wife, Lorena, was killed by an enemy of Sayavar, an evil warlock named Grawl. Grawl also cast a powerful I believe, spell on Sayavar's only son. Log Ruth Mathar and exiled him to a distant land. Sayavar was never able to locate his son again and has finally forced himself to admit that Log Ruth Mathar is dead. As the fire grows dimmer, Sayavar tells them of the rise and fall of the great underground empire, a mighty kingdom carved right into the bedrock of the earth, a kingdom of wondrous sights, tremendous wealth, and powerful magic. But because of the decadence of its ruler, Lord Dimwit Flathead, the empire finally fell. So I assume I pressed the, pressed the end button for next page. And Silvar study, following the fall, Evil times came to the land of. Turn off that uh, automatic uh, electronic reader. Sayavar's study. Following the fall, evil times came to the land of Frobos. 
as every warlock in the kingdom attempted to gain control. Finally, Sylvar. Sylvar helped recreate the Knights of Zork, an ancient royal army, to help bring order to the land. With the defeat of Krill, the most powerful of the warlocks, peace returned. Now the great underground empire is rising once more. Each week, new areas, areas of the old underground caverns are rediscovered, explored, and settled. Flood Control Dam number 3 is once again the famous tourist spot, and it was at the height of the empire, and the mines of Zork are once again producing coal and diamonds. Sayavar speaks softly of his dream of uniting all the neighboring lands into a peaceful, happy kingdom. A troubled look comes over Sayavar's face. Recently, Sayavar says, explorers have discovered a new section of the great underground empire, and adventurers and treasure hunters have flocked into the vast new area. None have returned. Click N for the next page. N. Silvar's study. Several knights have got. Silvar's study. Several knights have gone in and to search for the missing explorers, but they have not returned either. With utmost reluctance, I have been forced to seal up the section of the underground empire forever to prevent more disturbances. Sayavar pauses and looks sadly toward Bevatar and Jorenda. Unfortunately, Max and Fred, the two elves who joined your quest to rescue me from the wizard Malafrestro, are among the missing. Sayavar absent-mindedly strokes his beard. I attempted to use my magic powers to explore this cavern of doom, but they were unable to penetrate it. It is as though the entire region were guarded by some powerful enchantment. All I could glean was a vague feeling that only someone completely innocent, only someone pure of heart, could enter that enchanted cavern and return. Sayavar pauses, lost in thought. The room has grown dark. The fire has turned into a bed of glowing embers. Sayavar shakes himself out of his reverie. Well, look how late it is. You two had best be off to your chambers. He summons a servant to escort them. Next page. And guest rooms. Later that night. Guest rooms. Later that night, Jiranda quietly enters Bevatar's chamber. She wakes him gently. Hey, Biv. Her glump. Oh, it's you. What's up? We've got to go to the Cavern of Doom. Sure. Bevatar says, rolling over. First thing in the morning. I'm serious, insists Jiranda. Bevatar stares at her. You must be wacko. You heard what Sayavar said. No one has ever gone in there and returned. But he also said that someone who was young and innocent could enter and return. We probably fit that bill as much as anyone around. Before Bivatar could object, Jiranda hurriedly continues, and we've got to find Max and Fred. They're our friends. Would you dare to enter the Cavern of Doom? Yes, that's why I got into the story in the first place, or two otherwise. Well, that's what the game's called, so I choose one. One. Dining room. Bivotar eventually agrees with Jurinda. And Dining room. Number one is the choice. Bivotar eventually agrees. 
with Jorenda. And the next morning at breakfast, he broaches the subject to Sayavar. Um, uh, Sayavar, Bivatar begins, Jorenda and I were talking last night and uh, we, um, uh, yes, asked Sayavar, cracking open a dragon's egg. We want to go into the Cavern of Doom and rescue Max and Fred. Jorenda blurts out. Sayavar looks flabbergasted. Completely out of the question. It's far too dangerous. But, but, but we can't just leave Max and Fred and all those others in there to die. Vivitar protests. And you said yourself that someone pure of heart could enter the cavern and return. Asked Jorenda. Sayavar is silent for a time. The agony of indecision shows on his face. Finally, he nods slowly. Your score has just gone up by one point. Next page. N. Cavern entrance. You two are both what? Cavern interest, entrance. You two are both wise and brave. I cannot argue with your reasoning. However, remember that over 50 men, many of them also wise and brave, have gone into that region and have never returned. Remember also that my powers cannot protect you there. Do you still wish to go? Bivitar and Jaranda both nod solemnly. Very well. We will leave here at once. <coughs> Sayavar reaches into his tunic and consults a parchment map. He mumbles a few spells under his breath and motions with his arm. In a flash, they are all standing in a small underground hollow. Bivitar and Jaranda are holding stout staffs. A tunnel slopes upward in one, direc one direction. In the other direction is a stone door. An inscription on the door reads, As ruler of all the kingdom of Zork, I hereby decree that this cavern of doom has been sealed off. No man may remove the spell that protects this door. No man may pass through into the cavern beyond Sayavar. Next page. N. Cavern entrance. Sayavar. Cavern entrance. Sayavar cants a long spell. At first, nothing happens. Then, slowly, the door swings open. A cold wind swirls through the hollow where they stand. The cavern may now be entered, says Sayavar. He hands them several bundles. Here are several days rations of food and water and a lamp to light your way. And this is a powerful talisman. He hands Bivatar a beautiful amulet carved from amber suspended from an intricate golden chain. It will glow in the presence of evil. The brighter the glow, the closer the evil. Sayavar places a hand on each of their heads and incants another. Then he says, I have placed my strongest protection spell on you, but I cannot say whether it will work in there. Remember, that once you have entered, I will have to seal this entrance again. You will now be totally alone. We understand, says Bavatar. Then farewell. May the forces of good watch over you. Next page. Video Gamers Oasis. Website, YouTube channel, 